Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing and I have been asked several times about my hat and my camera setup. So I'm going to be discussing some of that with you all today. Now, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and push that bell notification to let you know the next time I upload a video. But like I said, we're going to be talking about my GoPro and my setups. Well, first off, I have a front-facing camera on my kayak. I simply have what most people will call a selfie stick, and I adjusted it, wrapped it in duct tape, and I simply place it in the hole where typically you would put your cell on your Hobie Outback. This is very, very caveman, very, uh, very low-tech. Also put a, this is like an, a pipe insulator with some zip ties to kind of make it a little more buoyant and on there I have my dirty I have my hero 5 on there with a wind muff now it's pretty simple you know I really only use this camera to get those shots of basically me holding a fish and and showing showing you a fish and I'll take a lot of from that video I will take a lot of still frames or still still images from that to share on social media but as you can see this is a simple wind muff and my GoPro Hero 5 now the wind muff does come in handy yes the Hero 5 has a mic on it that is really lacking so this will keep out some of the wind noise but you can see from the forward facing camera I rarely do any talking or any speaking most of my audio is caught from the hat above me but I will use this if I am fishing somewhere, like if it starts raining or if I'm weight fishing somewhere, I will definitely use this this setup right here. Or while I'm, if I'm on the kayak and it starts raining, I will put my Hero 8 up and start using the 5. But we're going to switch over here and we're going to take a look at the action hat and how I mount this camera to my hat. Alright, so here is my hat without... The camera attached now what I purchase for my hat is I purchased this from action hat and it, it is a do-it-yourself DIY kit now I really like this kit because you can install it on any hat and as this hat gets older especially in the summer times you get a lot of sweat a lot of salt water on these hats but especially when they start getting older and really stinking I will dispose of this hat and then I will put my DIY kit on a new hat. So this hat probably cost me like around nine or ten dollars on Amazon. I bought them as cheap as six dollars before. So I just change out the hats, put the DIY kit on my new hat, and then I'm fresh with the fresh lid again. But if you have any kind of sponsorships or any other kind of brands you want to rock, then you can definitely put this hat on any of those it's pretty easy to install it just basically has a couple of screws that go in to that you poke a hole and you dry you make the excuse me it's pretty easy to install it has a couple of screws that you make a little insurgent through here to the front if you could see that poke a little hole screw the screw through and it comes with a mount right here and it's a metal mount so it's not gonna you know over time it's not gonna crack or anything like that so okay so if you remember me if a few minutes ago I talked about this clip having to come off and all the time and adjust your your angle on your camera so what I did was I bought instead of having to do that all the time I bought these this little extender I think it comes like in a three pack this one's a little longer and it comes with two of these I bought these on Amazon I'll leave a link for that below as well as the DIY action hat kit I'll leave that link in the description as well but I simply put this extender on here and I keep this angle the same so I tighten it up pretty good and I keep this angle the same let me take this off and I keep this angle the same so no matter what this is not gonna move and then when I simply instead of having to readjust my angle every time I just simply have this set up where this goes the camera is adjusted all the way back and that's the angle I want to keep 
So when I take it off, if I put it back on, I make sure I adjust it all the way back before I tighten the screw back up. So to, in order to keep the angle, this one stays the same out of the uh, attachment and this stays the same. So that's what I did there. But this is a lav mic. Pretty inexpensive lav mic. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. It's a Purple Panda. It's a Purple Panda mic. Uh, I don't know what the price is on them now, but it's pretty, pretty, pretty cheap. Not too expensive. It comes with an adapter. And you need this adapter to change the... You need this adapter so you can use the mic from your your hero because your gopro hero because on the media mod and on the older adapters themselves there's a different output so anyway so what i simply do is i have that tied up there on my cord and i have these little velcro straps that has come with something i don't know but you can buy these little straps at home depot and i just wrap it around there and well actually i put it underneath so it's out of the way i just wrap it around there again i'm not taking this off this is not coming off this is pretty tight on here because i'm leaving that arm secure and my camera my cord to my mic is out of the way and i like putting this on top of my bill that way it's not in my face so then the media mod is attached and i just plug in my cam my i keep saying camera I plug in my microphone right there and get this in there again you'd want to adjust your angle but like I said my angles already adjusted all I have to do is push this back as far as it goes my camera back as far as it goes and rest against that arm and there we go I am ready to go that is but that's it, that's my action hat. That's how I roll, that's how I record. So this is my setup that I have my my Hero 8 setup. I have it set up in a looping mode. Unfortunately, I believe it only records in a 1080, unless there's been a software update like that, I'm not too sure. Typically, I like to record in a 2.7K, but it does record in a 1080, and then I will adjust I will convert it over and adjust it to a 4K in the editing process. So it records in five minutes looping. So what that simply does is that when you hit record, it's, in, it's going to record everything from now to five minutes. At five minutes and one second, the loop starts over again. So if I'm fishing, I catch a fish, I start fishing, I land the fish, I will push record again to stop and get that first initial bite. Sometimes if it's a long fight and like I've had this happen in one of my videos before where I missed a lot of the fight with my mounted hat because I caught a big ugly and the fight was pretty long. Uh, I would suggest that if it is a long fight and it's going longer than five minutes for you to hit record that's record to five minutes and then you push push it again that's going to stop your five minutes keeping that five minute window in the front that where you started from and then push record so you can get the next five minutes i typically will fight a fish after i land the fish i will press press record to capture the fight and to make sure i don't record over it in case i'm taking my fish off or what have you and then i'll start recording again when i am handling the fish but yeah that's this is my it's pretty simple pretty simple setup i know i've had this lav mic for a while now probably over a year i had a couple i have a couple different ones but kind of waiting for this one to go out on me and then i'll switch it up now one thing that i would say is using the gopros is that it's going to take a few batteries for you unless you take a charger with you on your kayak or wherever you're fishing your boat or whatever but it's gonna take a few batteries so i think i have like when i bought this Hero 8, I think I bought like 16 or 15 of these batteries because they will last me anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. You might get, um, if you're not recording in a loop or if you're keeping your, your camera power down and not recording, then obviously they're going to last longer. But in looping mode at 1080p, it's going to,
probably go like anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes so I constantly change out my batteries I know some friends of mine take charges with them and they'll charge them but for me it's just very simple for me to take take my bag of batteries I hope this helps answer any questions you may have had about my action hat and its setup or simply the equipment that I am using to record and if you're interested in making your own videos or capturing your own action while you're out there on the water, please do not hesitate to ask any of those questions in the comments section below. And again, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out. Until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.